Well, good evening, and welcome to our telephone town hall. This is Ron Laudell, Benefits Administrator for the St. Louis, Kansas City Carpenters Regional Health Plan. We'd like to thank you for joining this call, and we'll do our very best to provide valuable information about the new programs that are already underway and answer as many questions that you have in the time that we have available. As a reminder, the content of this call will be focused on active members and early retirees. If someone in your home is covered by Medicare and has coverage under United Healthcare, the information shared tonight will not apply to them. The programs we discuss are Healthcare Blue Book, Teladoc, the dependent audit being performed by Sokova, and the Carpenters Wellness Center. We believe these new initiatives are extremely important to you and the Carpenters Health Plan. You know, the plan has been built by your hard-earned hourly contributions. It is designed to provide coverage for health care services your family needs. Unfortunately, we all face big challenges as overall health care costs continue to rise each year. For instance, we expect to pay $224 million on benefits this year in the Carpenters Health Plan on the 50,000 lives that we serve. However, we cannot chase rising costs simply by increasing hourly contribution rates. We need to keep our more money on your paycheck. So to do that, we need to find additional ways to spend our health care dollars wisely. Fortunately, there are ways to get quality care you need and save both you and the plan money. Tonight we have three exciting new programs to discuss that will help you access high quality care in a much more cost effective manner. We also have one important program to discuss about that is designed to help ensure that the benefits in this plan are provided only to eligible dependents. All the programs we discuss will help maintain a strong health plan and keep more money on your paycheck. That is a win-win objective. So let's begin. As this is a town hall, we want to hear from you. If you would like to ask a question tonight, please press zero on your phone at any time during our presentation. We will be answering questions live throughout the evening, so remember, if you would like to ask a question, please press zero. Also, if you get disconnected at any time, you may call back into this town hall by dialing 855-756-7520, extension 472-79, and the pound sign. Again, the callback number is 855-756-7520, extension 47 279 and the pound sign. Tonight, the four programs we discuss will be Healthcare Blue Book, Teladoc, the dependent audit currently underway with Sokova, and the exciting new Carpenters Wellness Center, currently under construction on the Regional Council's main campus on Hampton Avenue in St. Louis. So, first up, Healthcare Blue Book. I'm sure most of you will agree that one of the great challenges in obtaining healthcare services is finding the highest quality providers. A second challenge is finding out how much a procedure will cost. Healthcare Blue Book helps answer both of those questions. Pat Hill, our member services manager, will explain how this program works. Remember, as Pat is presenting, if you have a question for her, please press zero and be added to the queue. Thank you, Ron. Many members think that just by using an in-network provider, they are getting the best pricing available for services. That's simply not true. In-network providers have services that vary greatly in cost. Healthcare Blue Book is a new online platform that allows you, as the healthcare shopper, to find providers for the best quality services with the best price. We want our members to go green to get green. Facilities and physicians fall into green, yellow, or red category based on quality of services and cost for certain medical procedures. Healthcare Blue Book shows you the cost and quality of providers. If you can't see the cost of your care, you risk overpaying. Green facilities are facilities in the top 33% for quality in the nation for that particular service you are seeking. Red facilities have been found to have a combination of the lowest quality and highest price. You can access Healthcare Blue Book online through the app on your smartphone 
or by calling Healthcare Blue Book by phone. You can also access Healthcare Blue Book by logging on to carpdc.org website, click on Member, then scroll to the bottom of page to find the link. Logging in is easy. Last name, date of birth, and email address. Here you can change the zip code. Always start your search by what procedure you need, MRI, X-ray, CT scan, colonoscopy. The site will guide you from there. It is important to note that not all physicians and facilities on Healthcare Blue Book are in our network. Once you find a green facility or physician, make sure you check that they are in network. You can find a link on Healthcare Blue Book to the provider portal and Maritain's phone number to verify a provider's network status. Go green to get green? What does that mean? When you find a green facility and schedule your appointment, you can earn up to $2,000 reward on eligible procedures. Check out the guided tour on Healthcare Blue Book. If you need assistance, please reach out to the Member Service Department. For the month of April, there were 4,125 searches. 2,231 of those were from smartphones. That's a 25.6% utilization. Normal utilization is 3 to 5%. Honestly, you wouldn't pay $20 for a gallon of milk. This is the same concept. Why pay more for your quality health care services when you can go green to get green? Thank you, Pat. That's a lot of great information. We are now going to take some time to answer some of the calls about Healthcare Blue Book that we have coming in during Pat's presentation. Hi, it looks like we have Douglas Brunkhorst from St. Louis. And Douglas has a question about the Healthcare Blue Book. Am I ready to uh, ask my question? Yes. Oh, Your question. Uh, I just I utilize the Blue Book, and uh, uh, I've used uh, Signature Health Orthopedics because they're at our uh, health fair. And actually, I made an appointment, and then I got my letter, and I went in and looked, and. They are, the, the facility and the doctor are both in the red. And uh, I did call the uh, office, and I guess since I had an appointment and I, I, I needed to get it, I didn't cancel, but I was wondering why we would have a uh, an organization like Signature Orthopedics uh, at our health fair if they're not in the green zone. Carolyn, could you answer that question? Um, I can. I, uh, you know, we noticed that too, Doug, when we first, of course, we were looking up doctors. I think part of the problem is, is what, one of the first things you have to do is enter in, when you get onto the website, you enter in the procedure that you're having. The signature doctor showed up in the red because, um, when we first looked at it, because they were actually going to, um, various different hospitals rather than using a surgical center. But if you enter in whatever the procedure is, let's say you're having a knee replacement, um, and you select that first, it's first going to pull up the green facilities, and then from there you would click on the link on one of those green facilities to get the list of doctors that attend there. So it was really just the order in which that you were looking up the information. We did verify that most all of the signature doctors are in the green zone, provided that they use the... Um, use a uh, surgical center versus um, a local hospital. Did that answer your question? Okay. Do do we have any more questions about Healthcare Blue Book? We have. Um, yeah, I don't see any more questions, Pat. Okay. So uh, looks like we'll, we've answered most of your questions, and we'll move on. Up next is Teladoc. One of the reasons healthcare costs in the plan continue to rise is the unnecessary use of urgent care and emergency care services. But the challenge has always been, where else do I go after hours or on the weekend when a family member has a fever or needs medical advice? Even your primary care doctor's office may be closed or unavailable. Now we have a solution. It's called Teladoc. 
you can call a licensed physician in your area to help you find the treatment you need over the phone 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And your cost, zero. Again, here's Pat Hill who will walk through how Teladoc works. Again, remember, press zero anytime you want to ask Pat a question about Teladoc. Thank you, Ron. Teladoc allows members and dependents over the age of 18 to speak to a licensed doctor for free using the plan's new Teladoc program. Members and dependents may call, use the Teladoc app, or visit teladoc.com to speak with a doctor 24 hours a day, seven days a week, when they cannot reach their primary physician. This service is available for members and dependents age two and older. Dependents age 18 and older may contact Teladoc on their own behalf with questions regarding their own care. Teladoc is best used for common illnesses such as the flu, sinus infections, cough, sore throat, rash, allergies, upset stomach, and more. Teladoc will allow you to access, will allow access to a licensed mental health care provider for assistance with behavioral health issues such as stress, anxiety, depression, addiction, or grief counseling. There is no out-of-pocket for anyone covered under the plan to use Teladoc services. This service does not replace your need for a primary care doctor. However, it is a great way to avoid the much higher cost of urgent care or emergency room services. We encourage you to register and complete your patient history in advance so when the need arises, you are ready to make an appointment. Please enter full name when registering. Thank you again, Pat. Uh, we're going to try and take some calls now to answer some calls about Teladoc. Do we have any Teladoc uh, questions out there? I don't see where we have any questions. So it looks like we'll move on to the next topic. Um, if you do have a question later regarding Teladoc, uh, you'll have an opportunity to leave a message later in the call. Ron? Our next topic is what I refer to as an important program, the dependent audit being performed by Sokova. Sokova is a third-party company who specializes in depend audit, dependent audit verification. Why is this important? Brad Kulafe, our operational services manager, will now walk us through what this audit is and how we've seen it work already. Brad? Remember, if Brad is presenting, and you have a question, press zero and be put into the queue. Thank you, Ron. As Ron has mentioned and Pat discussed, there are two very innovative healthcare dollar-saving initiatives, and one really important initiative. That's what I'm here to talk to you about today. By now, I would hope you are all aware of our audit being performed by Sokova for all dependents covered under the plan. The only dependents not required to participate in this audit are dependents of retired members who are on Medicare because their benefits are paid through United Healthcare, and auditing them would not save fund healthcare dollars. This dependent audit will ensure that the fund's healthcare dollars are only spent on our members and eligible dependents. This is the responsibility of this plan. We understand this may be a frustration for some. However, without audits like this, research has shown that health plans may spend millions of dollars on individuals who are not entitled to benefits. For example, my office received an enrollment a couple weeks ago with a member trying to add a spouse. Only problem was, we already had a spouse on file. When we received the divorce decree from that first marriage, it was from 10 years ago. That's 10 years of claims paid on that ex-spouse. Do I think it was done out of malice? No. I think the member was going through a divorce, and the last thing on their mind was calling the benefits office and letting us know. I reached out to Sokova this morning to get some preliminary numbers, and with just two weeks into the audit, we already have over 50 dependents who have voluntarily removed themselves from the plan. This is not a witch hunt. We only want non-eligible dependents to be removed. So after review, I found that the majority of the dependents who have been dropped are spouses that were removed due to divorces that we were never notified about. Now, yes, there have been a couple children removed that appear to have never had any business being on the member's account. And actually, I do want to touch on that. 
if you're listening to this call right now and know that years ago you put your neighbor's kid on your file because he needed a surgery or whatever reason, just know that if you remove the child during this audit, there will be no repercussions. Consider this an amnesty period. As I mentioned, everyone hopefully was aware of this before me talking about it. Verification packets were mailed by Sokova on April 16th, so everyone should have their packets by now. If your dependents are covered under the plan and you have not received your packet, call Sokova, as they can get that in the mail to you immediately. The benefit office cannot print those packets. Sokova is your best contact in this audit. Sokova mailed out packets to 12,488 households. That's covering 30,140 dependents. To handle that, Sokova has a dedicated customer services department open 15 hours a day, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m., as well as a website dedicated to verifying and uploading documents. We chose Sokova because they are the best in the business at eligibility audits. Sokova has the resources and technology to handle a group our size. Verification documents may be submitted through Sokova's secure online verification station by secure fax or by mail and all of the necessary information is in the packet you have received. And Sokova staff is going to be the most knowledgeable on how to use their website and the requirements necessary for verification. Dependent verification is due back to Sokova no later than May 23rd. The packet you should have received spells out what is required for each type of dependent. However, if you have any difficulties understanding how or what to submit, please call Sokova at the number listed in your verification packet. In fact, get your pens out. That number is toll-free, 877-692-9165. That's 877-692-9165. One question that has already come up a few times in regards to the frequency of this audit. And the answer is no. This will not be an annual process. Another question that has come up is in regards to the tax form. Now, I don't want to get into all the specifics of what documents for what specific scenarios. That is what Sokova is here for. But I will address the tax form for verification of your spouse. First off, we chose the tax form because you have to file your, fa your taxes every year. In fact, April 15th just passed, so it should be easy to find. Whereas, in all honesty, I don't know where my marriage certificate is. Don't tell my wife that. But I know I just had to file my taxes, and proof is on my phone. Oh, and if you are like me and you filed your taxes online, you will need to send that confirmation email you received from TurboTax or whatever filing service you used, along with page one of your federal filing statement showing filed as married. It is just proof that it was actually filed because filing online, there's no signature page. Also, you can black out any, of, any and all of your financials. So COVID does not need any of that information. Um, as Ron mentioned earlier, the benefit plan is funded by your contributions. We need to make sure that only those that are entitled to the coverage under the plan have access. This is to preserve your dollars. Ultimately, this important cost-saving initiative will help to keep more of your paycheck. All right, I'm sure there are some questions. Thank you, Brad. Um, our first question is from Walter Kippel, um, located out of Missouri. Walter, you're, it's your turn. Uh, yes, I have a question. Um, my wife and I got married back in 14. Um, she had a daughter. Um, Dad's kind of out there, and I haven't adopted her because of them reasons. Is she still going to be covered under this new thing, even though she's step and I haven't adopted her? So it, it, um, it's, a good, it's a good question, Walter, and I'm sure others have it, so um, I appreciate you bringing it up. But the, the eligibility um, requirements have not changed. We're just verifying that um, the, your, your stepdaughter is, in fact, your stepdaughter. So... The, the coverage would still be there. It's, um, it's just about verifying that your spouse is your spouse and that that is her daughter. I hope that answers your question. And we may want to add to that that um, um, we do need to verify that your stepdaughter does not have access to coverage through her natural father or her natural mother. 
uh, but uh, uh, Brad speaks just to the Sokova audit, the dependent audit, so what he said is correct. Looks like we have another uh, call from Logan Kessels. Hello. Hello, Logan. What's your question? Um, so I've got a question about my uh, spouse's eligibility regarding um, how you said, or he said the has to be a dependent. So um, my wife works, and at her work they do not offer um, insurance. Whenever we did our taxes, we filed jointly, you know, and we didn't file. I didn't file her as a dependent. So, is that going to affect her eligibility upon my insurance? Uh, another very good question. Thank you, Logan. Um, the I that that's that's probably my fault in just the wording. I I was using uh, dependent in um, in more of a general term to include spouses and dependent children. So. Um, it, it, you said that you you guys did um, file jointly on your taxes, and that would be the verification that would be necessary for your spouse um, to keep her on your on your plan. Do we have any other questions? Yes, it looks like we have another uh, question from um, Brad. I lost my screen, so you'll have it to take like this oh, one. I'm Roger sorry. Allen. It looks like it's a Roger Allen. Roger, what's your question? Uh, yeah. Well, I was gathering that this program and everything is all about uh, cost efficiency, and um, but I was under the impression that maybe I'm wrong that our insurance company automatically um, uh, verifies whether the doctors or facilities that are in our network are the most cost efficient available for us. Is that true or not? Brad, that's a question I can take. This is Ron. Uh, Roger, the, the, the network that we provide, the Aetna network, uh, provides great discounts on a wide range uh, of, of access for a wide range of specialties. What, we're, what we have found through Healthcare Blue Book is that even within those great discounts, there are better arrangements and better ways to identify the high quality providers. So for instance, if you're running some of your system, some of your services through a hospital system, they will tend to cost much more than like a surgery center or some uh, private uh, standalone system. So yes, Aetna does provide a great network, but Blue, Healthcare Blue Book will allow you to dive deeper in to get greater savings. Uh, for the services that you need. It looks like we have another uh, call from um, uh, Barbara Lowry. Barbara, what's your question? I understand it's about Blue Book. Yes, I was very confused about your wording on a rebate that we could possibly receive? Is that a monetary value that can come back to us in check form? Or is that just off the top of our bill? It, it's actually, and this is Pat, I'll take this one. Um, it's actually a, mon it's a check that you get from Healthcare Blue Book. Um, and the, the amount depends on what procedure you have done. It, it goes anywhere from $35 up to $2,000. You know, the $2,000 would be for your more um, intensive surgeries like a spinal infusion, $35 might be for a simple x-ray. On the Healthcare Blue Book site, when you log on, at the top right, there's, it says rewards. You can click on that, and it'll list out all of the procedures that um, 
to have a reward attached to them. So how it works is when you go into the Healthcare Blue Book and you select a green provider and you go and you have your service, your procedure done, and the claims come through the carpenter's office, that information then is uh, given to Healthcare Blue Book. They see that you use a green provider and they issue your reward check to you. Thank you, Pat. It looks like we have another call coming in from Kelvin Newland uh, regarding the dependent audit. Kevin? Yeah, I, I don't currently have any dependents, but I didn't get a, an audit from Sokova either, so I was wondering if that was why. That is exactly why. Um, that's that's a good question. It's something we uh, um, only only lightly touched on. But yes, the the only the only members that would be receiving the packet from Sokova would be uh, members who do have dependents that are covered under under the plan. So with with no dependents on your file, that's why you didn't receive a packet. Thank you for your question. All right. Thank you. Looks like we have another call. Uh, Paul Klein from Blue Springs, Michigan. Paul? <laughs> uh, I'm not from Michigan, Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. My location says Blue Springs, Michigan. So, okay, Missouri. What's your question, uh, Paul? <laughs> my question is, I was married after the first of the year this year, and the gentleman that spoke earlier said that what we would need to present was providing our tax forms, but obviously I wouldn't have one yet. So does that even apply to me? Um, yes, yes, the, the audit would uh, still apply to you. The, the tax forms um, were the, the number one um, re, the number one verification for spouses. Um, kind of some of the reasons I discussed earlier on, we, we thought that would be the easiest for, for members to have. But uh, there, and again, I, when we get into the specifics for each scenario, Sokova can, can uh, answer all these questions. But, but this one, um, I, I know. <laughs> um, so the, the marriage certificate um, showing that you were married this year and then uh, some uh, form of joint um, residencies, you know, something that says, you know, a, a bank statement or car loan or something along those lines. Just to uh, just to verify, so um, there there we do have backup scenarios in all cases, um, and and like I said, Sokova can can walk you through each one of those. Okay, we have a call for Rachel Siegel. Rachel, hi. My question is about Blue Book. Okay. Um, so you mentioned that you wouldn't want to pay $20 for a gallon of milk, and that's true, but I would be willing to pay more for a gallon of milk if I like the taste of that milk better than the less expensive gallon of milk. So are we allowed to still pick which doctors we want without a penalty, or are we going to be kind of pushed to go to the less expensive green, green ones rather than the blue or the red? No, you're not going to be penalized. Um, our members can choose any provider of their choice. You know, we hope they use in-network. Um, and, it, you know, if you can find an in-network doctor that's also a green doctor, it's, it's less money out of pocket for you and it's less money for the plan to pay out. But it's your choice. There, you won't be penalized. Rachel, I'll jump in here, too. I, I just want to encourage you to, to seek the, the providers that gives you the greatest comfort for sure. The, the purpose of Healthcare Blue Book is to give members choice. One example that we've used frequently to share how this can benefit members, we use a colonoscopy, uh, standard colonoscopy treatment. You can get the same quality of provider service uh, for $950 at one end of the range spectrum or $6,092 at the high range. So there's a broad a range of cost uh, based on the, the source that you use. A good green blue book price would be $1,655. So it's just a choice uh, that, that can help you 
uh, obtain the care. If you use that green provider, we would pay you $100 in rewards, but it's your choice. Okay, I think it's time that we need to uh, move on. We've answered most of the questions. Let's move on to our last topic. Ron? Great, thanks, Carolyn. Finally, turning it over to Carolyn Perez, our assistant administrator, she is going to talk to us about the exciting new Carpenters Wellness Center being built right here at the Union Hall's main campus in St. Louis. We believe that wellness centers can help transform the way our members are able to access primary health care needs. In fact, early plans are in the works to establish a wellness center in Kansas City with expectations to build additional facilities near the greatest concentrations of our membership. Carolyn, why don't you explain the benefits of the Carpenters Wellness Center? And again, press zero if a question comes up about the presentation. Thank you, Ron. I hope all of you are as excited about the Wellness Center concept as we are. Uh, imagine the ability to obtain most of your general health care services you need all under one roof with the very personal attention you need while saving your money and saving the plan money. This Wellness Center is expected to change the way that we do health care for our membership in the St. Louis and surrounding area. There are many reasons for opening a Wellness Center. Several reasons are access to quality, timely care, and coordination of services. Two, savings for the members and the plan. Our members and their families need better access to quality primary care. Unfortunately, sometimes patients have to wait for an appointment with a physician, oftentimes for up to six months. At the Wellness Center, you'll be able to schedule an appointment online through your secure patient portal or by phone. While we prefer members make an appointment, there is, um, there, uh, there is a portion of the day that is reserved for walk-ins in the event that you need care right away. The Carpenters Wellness Center hours of operation are 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. And Saturday we plan on having hours 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. to allow plenty of options to schedule an appointment. If you need a referral for a specialist, the Wellness Center staff can help with the selection of quality providers. Rotating specialists such as dermatology, podiatry, audiology may be available at the Wellness Center from time to time. For most services, members will pay nothing out of pocket for their services received at the Wellness Center. That means no copay, no deductible, or coinsurance. The plan is expected to save costs overall to help keep health and welfare contributions as low as possible. Most services obtained at the Wellness Center are provided at zero cost to the patient. These include primary care visits for routine or sick visits. Please note that children must be over the age of two to um, have a, um, services at the Wellness Center. Uh, the Wellness Center will also be providing lab services such as blood draws, uh, urinalysis, um, x-rays, having basic, ex having basic radiology on site saves you time and money. We will have a chiropractor. Um, there will be physical therapy la located on site and physical therapy will need to be prescribed by a physician. Immunizations and school physicals will be available including flu shots. Physician ordered massage therapy will be available. And some of the best news is zero cost for prescriptions filled at the pharmacy, and we will have over-the-counter medications at wholesale costs. So you can get your items like baby aspirin and Tylenol, acetaminophen, um, those types of things at wholesale cost. Uh, we will have on-site wellness services, mental health substance abuse counseling on-site, a full, ver uh, a full ver uh, vision service with vision exam, eyeglasses, contacts, safety glasses will be available on site, and all people with glasses will receive anti-glare available to you at no additional cost. Um, there'll be the, the eye test that, uh, the picture of the eye test that the optometrist takes that usually costs about $39 or $40 when you go to the eye doctor out of your pocket. That is also going to be included with your visit at the Wellness Center. Um, the plan will also have reduced costs for, for progressive lenses and for tinting. And uh, there's also no claims to file, so you don't have to hassle with that paperwork. 
As you can see, having a wellness center can save your family a fair amount of money while providing you with personalized care. The wellness center model allows patients up to 50 minutes with the physician or nurse practitioner and less than five minutes in the waiting room. Annual physicals provide time for your physician or nurse practitioner to review your history, review your medications, and to talk about any of your concerns, but most of all, to help you be the healthiest person you can be. When you need other services, such as physical therapy, lab work, or a vision exam, these services can be taken care of in one place. The Wellness Center is designed to be a one-stop shop. If you've been on our Hampton camp campus lately, you will have seen you you have seen what will be our beautiful new building being built in anticipation of our opening this summer. Your participation in using the wellness center is what will make this venture successful. Over the next few months, additional information will be available about the Carpenters Wellness Center, the progress, medical staff announcements, when you can begin making appointments, and of course the grand opening. Additional information will also be provided on other locations, such as a Kansas City location. You're going to take time now to answer some calls about the Wellness Center. Okay, it doesn't look like so we have we, any calls. Do we have any questions about the Wellness Center? It doesn't look like it. Okay. Looks like we have uh, another question for Healthcare Blue Book. You might want to invite Becky on. Sure. Becky, Hi, what's Becky. Your question? Becky Henson of Jeff City. You're on. Is Becky not there anymore? Looks like it looks like Becky must have fallen off. We have some time, so how about a teledoc question from Susan? Hi, Susan. You have a question about <laughs> health docs? Yes, I did. Um, I was just wondering, you know. Uh, about strep throat or the flu, how how is he going to determine by not seeing me, and are they going to be able to write a prescription for an antibiotic or or what? You'll be uh, actually talking to a doctor face-to-face -face on your phone or your iPad. Um, the doctor will get your symptoms, and yes, they will be able to call a prescription in for you. The other, the other piece of that too is they'll also be able to report back to uh, any information back to your primary care physician. Um, that's a uh, choice that you can make if you want that information to go back to your um, primary care physician. You can and follow up with them um, after your your uh, teledoc services, and even if the if the teledoc uh, prescribes medication, they'll cite your record with that. Do, do we have any other calls? Um, I like see a call, a call from, from Tracy Franken. Hi. Um, I have a question about the uh, Blue Book. And um, currently, we have a child that is in a residential treatment facility for behavior or for mental um, issues. Um, uh, does the Blue Book ha have anything to do with that, and do they consider uh, one uh, facility over another better, or is that something totally different? Um, Pat, you want me to take this one? Oh, I'm sorry, Carolyn, sure. Can you take that one? Uh, yeah, I um, um, I don't know. I have not tried searching for mental health facility, but I would imagine um, you can search for residential care, and it should show um, those uh, residential care services within your zip code area. Um, I do know that there are mental health services that are out there on Healthcare Blue Book, but I have not specifically tried to search um, uh, for a residential care.
Okay, do we have any other questions? Brenda, I see we have a call concerns? from Brenda Lauf. Is this a blue book question, Brenda? Yes, the question I have is um, on the Carpenter's newsletter that was sent through the email, and there was a link for the healthcare blue book. The state there was a um, a video, and when I click on that, it doesn't bring me to the video. It just brings me to the home page of the healthcare blue book. And I was curious on where the video link is at. So, did did you already um, look at the video link at one point, Brenda? Because I know it, that was the little tour, and once you click on it and take the tour, it goes away. So then after that, um, you have the option of going to the home page. Okay. So no, I didn't. Not that I'm aware of. First time I was okay. out there, so. Hmm. We can we can check into that for you um, and, and return your call. That's okay. And Brenda, as we close out our call uh, tonight, uh, we will give the option to press nine, where you can leave your name and phone number and your question, and we'd be happy to follow up with you um, later this week. Well, that looks like we have uh, our questions uh, addressed on the Wellness Center. So those are the programs that we wanted to present this evening. Uh, and we, to help us measure how effectively this town hall was, we'd like to close with a polling question to you. Our goal is to communicate as effectively as we possibly can. And so we want to invite your participation. Our question is this. Do you feel that the telephone town hall was an effective method of explaining the new benefit initiatives? We're going to ask you to press 1 through 4 as indicated here. So press 1 on your keypad of your phone if you strongly agree that this meeting was very helpful. Please press 2 if you agree but it was helpful, but it could have been more informative. Please press 3 if you disagree that it really was not too helpful. And press 4 if you strongly disagree, you really didn't learn anything. Well, the poll is open. Thank you for taking the time out of your evening to hear about these very important programs. We hope that you feel this telephone town hall was beneficial to understanding your new benefit initiatives and programs. Ron? Thanks, Carolyn. And as we do close for the evening, it, watching the numbers come in, it looks like about 60% of you agree that this was a very helpful form, format to communicate benefits, and we appreciate that. Another 33% believe that this was a good uh, format, and you agree with it. So we're grateful to that, and we will try to uh, utilize this tool going forward. So in closing, uh, if we didn't get to your particular question about the information shared tonight, or if you want to leave feedback about this telephone town hall, please press 9 on your telephone keypad as we close to receive a follow-up phone call so that we can address your questions directly. Follow-up phone calls will be returned during normal business hours in the order in which they were received. You will uh, find, uh, if you find, I'm sorry, uh, that you have additional questions after you hang up on this call, please direct your questions to the Carpenters Member Services Department. They can be reached uh, at 314-644-4802. Simply press option 1. Or you can call toll-free. That number is 877-232-3863 and press option 1. Again, that toll-free number is 877-232-3863, press option 1. Or you can send us an email. The email address is benefits at carpdc.org. Again, that's benefits, B-E-N-E-F-I-T-S, at carpdc.org. Thanks for your particip participation tonight. Good night.